Kelly Green, a ski expert at Curated. And here at Curated, we're obsessed with skiing. Lucky for us, we got to test out some of the best skis from the best brands. From those demos, here are our experts' favorite 2022 all-mountain skis. Just so you all know, we're not sponsored by any of these brands. All these reviews are completely unbiased. And number five, we have the Atomic Maverick 95 Ti. This thing rips. What an incredible brand new ski from Atomic. I am in love with this ski. Uh, it's actually, for 95, it's pretty quick to quick, uh, edge to edge. At speed, there's no chatter. That two full sheets of metal just make it such a damp, smooth ride. But amazingly, they're not that heavy for two full sheets of metal. They're actually pretty light. And for 95, I hit probably about seven or eight inches of uh, powdery snow. These things just floated beautifully. They're pretty intuitive. They will do the turns for you, but if you want to really give it a lot of input and tell it where you want them to go, you can really drive these skis. This blew my mind in fresh powder and in the trees. This Horizon Tech tip, it stayed afloat at all times. So this ski excels more than most all mountain skis do uh, in more scenarios. Trees, powder, groomers, uh, it, was, it was a blast in moguls as well. The only train I would avoid on this, uh, if you spend most of your time in bowls or variables, no conditions, where there's a lot of different types of, you know, chunder and stuff, this can kind of get knocked around a little bit. Besides those, this is one of the top skis. Number four, we have the K2 Mindbender 99 Ti. These skis rip, they are built to last, they are bomb proof. These things grip edge like there's no tomorrow. Um, you can see there's a Y beam here of Titanol that stretches this whole ski and um, up here it plays with edge control so it's really responsive initiating those carves. They're not the most forgiving skis so I wouldn't recommend these for you know big jumps. This is the power wall and this really helps the ski hold that edge underfoot. I can't say more about how much these grip. These are awesome, they rip. Today I skied the, the Mindbender on groomers, moguls, I went trees, and I even dabbled in some, some powder. And it, it excelled in all the scenarios very well. It allowed me to go at a very high rate of speed, which was awesome, very stable. Yeah. But it also allowed me to smear if I needed to and disengage that edge. Uh, at the same time, it, it really holds very well. The edge grips is tremendous on this ski. There wasn't much chatter at high speed, so that was very, it was really nice. I had so much fun on this ski today. It feels like you're on railroad tracks. You just get over and it goes. If, if you ski fast, you'll like this ski. <laughs> it's a great hard pack resort ski, in my opinion. Just fun all over the mountain outside the park obviously i definitely say intermediate to advanced skiers would love this ski if you're intermediate to advanced and you're wanting to get more comfortable at higher speeds definitely consider the uh, mindbender 99 ti number three we've got the atomic bent chatler 100. super fun ski it not only skis great but it does look cool so that's just always bonus points you know if you can get to some open glades and really pick up some speed and lay some turns see some trees uh this is gonna be something that you're gonna be smiling ear to ear on in the trees. If you're at a resort and you gotta jam a long groomer run to get to a, a cool tree zone, you're not gonna have any problem. It's not like those skis that have no camber. You got plenty of camber underfoot. I would definitely say if you're a beginner skier and you're planning on progressing to become, you know, an intermediate to expert, this would be a great option where you wouldn't have to buy another ski, you know, but definitely intermediate to advanced. If you were looking for a ski that you wanna grow with, you know, get this one and you're not gonna have to get a new ski once you get better and start skiing faster. This would be a great ski to have forever. So that's, it'll do it all. They feel good in air, feel well balanced, like flex wise, they're well balanced throughout the ski. It doesn't feel like too soft in the tips or tails. It's actually like a, a firm, much more firm ski than I thought. They have a really smooth edge to edge transition. It's, it's easy to get up on edge. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that these were 100 underfoot if I were just skiing them based on how they move. These things grip and just like you accelerate in your carve. So when you're carving, uh, holding that edge, you're just digging deeper and deeper. And that's what these skis are for. Brought them into the trees, brought them on the bumps. Oh, they felt really good on the moguls. Surprisingly, like really easy to move. And I think that's due to the dampness, like they're, they're really damp, there's no chatter. And so when you get in that bump field, it's like, yeah, they're 100 underfoot, but you're still moving them in that zipper line, like, no, no problem. I'm kind of baffled by like, 
how these are so damp. I don't get it. Like, so yeah, they're they're great. Number two is the Icelandic Nomad 95. I'm surprised with these. All around great jibby ski. It's really like an all mountain free ride ski. Very playful, very buttery. It's a smooth flex, but it's well distributed throughout the whole ski. When you're carving, the ski is flexing with you and it almost like launches you into your other carve. So that's really cool. I had a couple moments there where I was surprised with like how quick these kind of popped you onto the other edge. That being said, I didn't experience chatter at high speeds. It's just getting air and landing in powder. They feel so smooth on landing, stable underfoot, not squirrely. They held up well in fresh snow. Uh, which was also a surprise to me. That Mogul's line was really nimble. They pivot really easy. It's just all around like a very maneuverable ski. A beginner would be thrilled with these. They're so much more nimble than like a lot of other 95 millimeter underfoot skis. And I think that's because of the tip and tail rocker. No, oh, just because it's such a soft flex, like if you're weighing over 200 pounds, I don't know if you're gonna wanna be on such a soft flex ski. They might feel a little bit too soft especially if you're like a larger expert, intermediate expert skier who wants that torsional rigidity, don't go with these. I would recommend these to park skiers, freestyle friends of mine, freestyle skiers who'd like to kind of branch out into jib and all mountain, but if you're in the park, these are gonna crush it. If you're out all mountain, you just wanna play around, do some 180 ski switch, it's gonna crush it. So the Nomad 95s, to be honest, like I kind of want a pair of these now. And our number one all mountain ski is the Faction Prodigy 2.0. It's a fun ski, um, really, um, really damp, really quick, really fun for a day like today when most of it's hard pack and you just want to rip. I can see someone that really enjoyed going fast, skiing the hard pack, but also like to goof around in the park really enjoy these skis. Really deep, soft snow, I would stay away from that. But other than that, they did great in the trees. Uh, they did great in moguls, but they're just not they are just not big enough for the softest days. Anytime that you get into the air with these, they're really, really stable. You really feel them underneath your legs and they're just really easy to uh, slap that landing down. I was expecting it to be more of like a freestyle, super duper playful, you know, like it just wants to spend all its day in the park. But actually, it, it really holds its own on uh, on groomers. It carves really well. There is no chatter at all. It's a strong ski. It likes to do nice, big, wide arcing turns. You know, with a solid intermediate and above, you should be able to get it to turn pretty quickly, especially with the turned up tips and tails. These are so much fun. I was going through the trees, down the groom runs, super responsive, super playful, but still stiff, uh, a lot of power in them. Yeah, I would recommend these to uh, a kind of advanced athletic skier. Definitely, they're probably too heavy of a ski for a beginner. For an athletic intermediate wanting to get better, they could probably hop on these and have a good time, especially if they enjoy the park. You want to be a solid intermediate on this just because it likes to kind of go straight more than turn, small turns. So I would not recommend this ski for beginners. Uh, I also would not recommend this ski for someone who's only looking for on-trail performance because you're paying for more versatility here. So what'd you think? Did your skis make the list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you need new ski gear, head to curated.com. You'll be connected with a ski expert like me to help you find the perfect setup for what you need. If you like what you see and you want more from Curated, please subscribe.